Hello guys, this is Slow Tools. Today I'm going to show you what happens if you apply acrylic paint as if it was edge paint on your leather. So a lot of people told me that edge paint is just a acrylic paint. You can just buy acrylic paint, it's cheap in your art store and it's really a waste of money if you buy your edge paint. But that is half true. So what I mean is that uh, there are thousands of edge coats that are acrylic based, but not all of them are acrylic based. But not even those acrylic based edge coats are the same as acrylic paint. Uh, those edge paints are um, designed for specific use for edge um, finishing application. So it has a more additive in those acrylic paint based paint. So this is just a paint for your artwork, but still it's acrylic paint. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and what the result looks like if you apply to your leather. Uh, this is a typical, um, it's not a cheap, it's not expensive. Um, this is just a normal quality Americana Deco Art brand uh, acrylic paint. I picked Jack O' Lantern Orange. It's, we are far from um, Halloween, but uh, <laughs> I just put it, um, I thought it was um, good color to show you um, what it's like if you use it as edge paint. So without further ado, let's just apply it. So it has a hole um, that you can squeeze on your palette uh, for your work, but conveniently we can just insert our hole into the hole like this. Uh, I shook the bottle before the video camera, so if you're also using this one, uh, I hope you don't. <laughs> You won't, I recommend you shake the bottle and then I'll try to apply this as if I was, this was edge coat, okay? Obviously I'm doing this as a uh, with the oil so that you can see the what the result looks like with yourself also. So this is your first coat, okay? And I'll dry it and I'll apply another coat. Okay, I think it's dried and I'll put the another coat. I will try not to make it too thick from each step because paint will might just crack while dry. This is your second coat. Okay. The biggest difference is that you can see through the paint. Yeah. Normally, if you apply it second time, you are not going to able to see these um, the leather through the paint. But uh, it's not as severe as in the camera. But in real life, you can see the leather very well. So already, this is a bad sign. But let's wait for the third coat. I'll I'll make it dry now. All right. So let's do our third coat.
Okay. Hmm. So this is third coat. So it's better than your second coat, but still you can see through your paint. You can still see your edge of your leather. And the biggest problem with this paint is that um, unlike your, your edge paint, it doesn't really bond together. It doesn't really grow more late. So uh, it doesn't really form any smooth surface. It just moves around like you move around. So if you move one bit, it just moves one bit and then stay there like, like clay, if you know what I mean. Uh, it has to really form a, a um, um, surface, smooth surface with um, other boundary edge paint, but this paint does not do that. So it just moves as as you moves around. So uh, it it creates this rough rough finish. Yeah. So I'm going to just dry this, and I'll show you the final result. So this is what it looks like after it's drying after third coat. I'll show you. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it it might look as if it, you might think it's not that bad, but um, in real life, it's it's really not good. <laughs> Trust me, it's really not good. And let's try to bend this. Mm, bending the resend quite good for the first try. As a long term longevity, I'm not sure about it. Mm. But only just the surface level. I don't think this work as ash paint guys. <laughs> I don't think so. So if you are curious about the if your ash paint can be replaced with the acrylic paint, the answer is no. Uh, I don't think so. You have to get your proper edge paint. Thanks for watching guys as always. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.